Cook, I have a spare shirt. I can send you one. Awesome. Then you're here, Justin. <laughs> Guess what we were talking about? Yeah, I think he does. What? Oh, the, uh, the t-shirt debacle. I mean, it started by, like, like I mentioned that you basically drew text stoked on, what was it? It was like a bar napkin or something. And just, like, sent it. I remember, like, you sent it to me and, like, you were still, like, out with your friends or something and it was just, like, perfect. It was, like, spot on. It's just like, oh my god, like, this is... <laughs> seals the deal, we have to do it. It's like, that's just so, like, appropriate. Oh, it was a notebook, okay. Dang, nah, you should... <laughs> nah, don't worry, just like, frame it and print it. <laughs> Not print, wait, no, no. I was gonna say print it and frame it, and I said it backwards, and then that doesn't even make sense anyways. It's gonna say, frame it and like, hang it on the wall or something. Oh, see, there you go. Perfect. That is true tape. I mean, I haven't done a intoxicated stream in a while. I do have a lot of alcohol with me. Not tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, drunk streams are fun as long as, like, you're still focused, I guess. Like, I don't care about, uh... Like, I'll watch streamers if they're, like, drinking and streaming, because, you know, if they're having a good time or whatever, but, like, the worst is when, like, they just, like, stop paying attention to the game. Like, get distracted or whatever. So I have a really good like generated vector of like text stoked if you'd need it for like whatever reasons. Like I also have like a 10,000 by 10,000 pixel PNG of it. I mean, just because it's cartoony, like you know, generated really nice. Okay, dude, one thing I know is I play Smash, like, I don't know if I 
play better, but I definitely have, like... I have, like, way better drunk ideas playing Smash than, like, regular, you know? Like, I choose, like, cooler... I get, like, way more creative. Dude, reminder that I won't be there for Spookathon either. I'm gonna be out of town. Which actually really sucks, because I love Spookathon. See, it does seem like a bad idea, tape. <laughs> Don't stream from your car while you're drunk. Oh my god. Spookathon, it's a Halloween marathon run by SRG people who are like the. Think of the more like 4chan esque side of speedrunning. Basically, what Mimic said. This is a, like a lot of like. It's much less serious than other, than like any other online marathon. Yeah, I couldn't think of a good word for it, Aqua Killer. <laughs> but no, not like Cyber Demon 531, like people who aren't, like, children. Cyberdemon's like a fart joke in human form. And then, uh, I think Tripmine's involved with running it. He's a good guy. That is true, Cook, but that was a long time ago, and he has changed. I think we both did. Do they still have those? Like, damn. Yeah, it's true. Oh, and Cook's really streaming, so good. Cook's got the memes, he'll he'll do well.
I'm literally going to be at a convention that week's weekend, so I'm going to spend every morning, like every morning and afternoon, looking for food and like meandering, and every night just like drinking like a fucking fish. I don't think I took that damage. I want to pretend. Son, reminder to f come out here for A and E. It'll be cool. Is that supposed to be a whisper? Yeah, see, good plan. is fucking cool and the people here are legit. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just really fast. Yes. I didn't think I was lined up right at all. Yeah, sandstorm things like super played out. I had I wasn't a hundred percent sure that wasn't gonna hit me, but I wanted to just like poker face it. Like, no way, no way, dude. Yeah, son, it's it's some new. It's like a new Big Man Japan thing. Like you get a few shots off for the slowdown, and then like just kind of get in his face because there's enough slowdown when uh. Even with the reload and everything, there's enough slowdown so he doesn't actually hit you. And there's like less chance of stuff missing. Which is always good. I 
I mean, of course, Big Man Japan had some like crazy intricate setup and blah blah blah. Oh, I have no idea. Like, probably minuscule, but it's a. It's just another way to do it, I guess. Like, he might have had other reasons. He had a video on it. If you don't follow him on Twitter, like, his Twitter is, like, fucking gold. He barely ever tweets, but whenever he does, it's, like, good shit. It's a good shit. Yeah, I forget if he actually posted it on Twitter, but I heard about it somewhere. I don't know, my communication with him isn't always, like, steady. Sometimes he'll just, like, pop into my Twitch channel and just, like, name, like, name flash me, and then, like, if I don't respond to anything, he'll just, like, post some random things and then just leave. It's like a drive-by, but with Twitch chat and, like, weird Silent Hill 2 information. Yeah, see? <laughs> the fucking best. I wish more people did that, just like... Twitch drive-bys. Like, pop into someone's chat and be like... Oh my god, that was not... Just pop into chat. I'm gonna pop into Aqua Killer's chat and like, talk shit. But he might not even have his own chat open in IRC, because I don't see why he would, because he's in the stream. See, now you all know that, like, I keep my chat open in IRC, so you can abuse that. Wow, everyone would get a load of this guy. He didn't know how to use IRC. It's like he was born in this century or something.
Is that really 1337? Holy shit, this might be the run. Okay, it's fine. Nice. Because one three thirteen thirty seven. Ha, this run is leap. Wow, holy shit, that was fucking lucky. Did you fucking see that? That was cool. Okay, no, what was I gonna say? Oh, down four. Uh, the it's about two hours in game time, like you saw or whatever. But uh, RTA, it's like at least three hours because all the cutscenes and all the super long loading times and all that shit. So it's super shitty to speedrun. See, this guy doesn't do what he's supposed to. That... Damn it, that sh I was gonna say that should have killed him. Okay, please die. Also, yeah, son, like, I I am a lucky motherfucker with those numbers. The double 69. Uh-oh. Okay. Take it. to highlight that one too. I'll get a collection of I'll start a collection of like Silent Hill meme numbers. Oh there's a fucking first aid kit in here. I actually didn't know that. I mean I guess I just forgot. Just in case. Jay. All right, take care, son.
Uh, what? I should have been moving by the time he did that, but whatever. Yeah, this one's going pretty well. Ah, holy shit. That felt fucking good. As far as, like, playing goes, usually by the time... I mean, I say usually, like, 99% of the time... If someone's speedrunning it, by the time they're even like putting on a timer and playing it that much, like you've you've already like played through it a bunch of times, so it's like the atmosphere. Like you know what's gonna happen, you know the story, you know all that shit. So the atmosphere is not like super important, I guess. I mean it is. It's still cool because you're running around. Like I'm running around in a dark city running past monsters and shit, but like, it's not like, it's not gonna have like the scary, like, brooding atmosphere if you're like, playing casually. Yeah, what Aqua Killer said. Like, I know what's happening at all times, I know where I'm going, I know how much ammo I have, I know what I need to fight. Oh yeah, if you mean like, will it ruin a first playthrough, like, no, not really. There's so many, there's been a few times where like, I've watched someone, like, speedrunning a game. And like, even if it's straight, pretty straightforward, just like routing and stuff, like it doesn't really give you that much if you just like pick it up casually and try to play it. This is actually a really good example because uh, we skip all the cutscenes and all of the actual plots basically in the cutscenes anyways. Yeah, exactly. If you know everything that's going on and you're in complete control, then it's not going to be like the same kind of game, like for a horror game. I mean, it wouldn't be the same for like Mario 64 or something like that, where you don't, it doesn't matter. There's like barely, like plot doesn't matter. Uh, that's not good. That's crappy. Get away. Yeah, exactly. Like, if. 
Yeah, exactly. It's, you're just like a strange man who runs around a very empty city, just shooting these weird monsters. Occasionally this dumb girl follows you around for a little bit and just kind of gets in the way. Yeah, the Mario 64, <laughs> the piano. It's not a good time. Yeah, I mean, it kind of does. Which is a cool movie, by the way. Surprisingly dark. Well, I mean, imagine if in real life, and you're just like running a mile, and you start off and you're like sprinting, and then you start getting tired, right? But then, like, you just quick save, and then suddenly it's like you're never running at all, and you're super ready to go again. So you just keep, you can sprint some more, and then eventually you'll get tired again, but then you just quick save, and then you just, that's how you run a mile in like four minutes. If you could match quick save in real life, Track and field would be way easier. Unless you were on console. <laughs> Yeah, brain, that'd be super useful. Yeah, they try to explain that in the plot of Origins by saying that Travis is a smoker. So that's why he can't run for shit. But like, from a gameplay design point, it's like... 
Let's include this shitty element that makes it not fun to play. And then we'll back it up with like a stupid plot element also. Like that's not how... that's not a good idea. Don't. I mean, I don't know if Brain Flute, if you've seen Origins at all, but he literally, like, slows down to, like, a power walk after like 20 steps. 20 steps of jogging. Like, not like sprinting or anything. Like, even at like full speed, he doesn't go very fast. Uh, that's not gonna work. No, no hunting rifle, you don't need it. It's all shotgun. And, uh... It's a little bit of shotgun, but mostly great knife from here out. I have no idea why I don't have a delete this emote. You know, it's a goddamn good idea. I only have stopped streaming because someone else made it, though. I just stole that shit right out. Public library is too good. Public emote library. If there is one, I'll gladly hijack that, too. Ah! Yeah, it's all... All the rest of the boss fights are great knife. Except for like two shots I'm gonna get on Eddie.
Yeah, it's... Hopefully I get this set up right. I didn't last time when I almost died because of it. Yeah, punching does break your knife swing. That's why you have to be really careful. I mean, anything will break your knife swing. I'm just gonna use that now. No, I mean, I'm not gonna let it play out, but I could, like... I don't know. Feels like it would be kind of pointless without the rest of the game, you know? Like, Eddie barfing is a great cutscene. But, like, you don't have to understand what's going on or anything. To, like, get that. Phase one is actually pretty simple. Give him a punch. Okay, I was actually a little worried. Hopefully, stay there. Yep. Easy peasy, Eddie. As long as he takes the bait and keeps trying to punch you and punches the hanging meat instead, <laughs> hanging meat, then you're good to go. I think I'm in pretty good shape, I just need to wrap this up. Just need a smooth hotel. Yeah, the fight's really goofy. Like, I can appreciate what they were trying to do there. Like, where he's like trying to like go around and hide around the meat, but like, even when he's like running around trying to hide, it just looks really goofy.
I'm stupid. Why do I always think it's that way? Yeah, if you quick save and break out of the little cutscene thing that like holds you there, then you can just walk over and hey, Laura's not actually there. Now the quick save glitch in PC versions like the coolest thing about the speedrun by far. Damn. Sweet, he wasn't in the way this time. You can skip these two. Fun fact. To drop off every item you have. That doesn't make you give up the uh, the picture and the letter from Mary. Yeah, the batteries, uh, you get in the hospital and you're supposed to use it in the bug room, but I skipped the bug room using a quick save glitch. Which is cool, because that room sucks. All those things just don't work. Like it's so like hard. It's so rare to get hit by them.
come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good quick turn. Uh, my movement's falling apart. Dude, nice big swing. Don't hit, don't hit. Oh, come on. This is a hot pattern. Okay, come on. Go, go, go. Sweet, they're just like stabbing each other like idiots. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look. It's disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Alright, this has to be solid. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. You know, Moss. Get over here. Oh, I hit four, I swear to God. Sweet.
All right, so. Okay, hang on, hang on, one sec. Before I, before I lose everybody. Uh, but which one?